Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to do some dynamic sorting using a parameter control. You probably have a similar table to this. This has customers down the left hand side, total sales, total profit, total quantity. Currently it's sorted by sales, but you might have on your visual, you might have a user that wants to change between sales and find out then who's the most profitable and then who is buying the most. In order to do that, we're going to create a parameter control. Come up here, create parameter. Just going to call this customer sort order. Oops. We're going to make this a string because we're going to have actual field names in there. List. We're going to type in sales. Profit. and quantity. And we're going to show the parameter control. And you can come over here, it's got a drop down. Great, it's not attached to anything, so that's, we weren't, ex I wasn't expecting anything to change. And now to make this really work, we need to create another field. We're gonna call this customer sort order. So if our parameter has sales selected, then we're going to bring over the sales value. Else if customer sort order has profit, then we're going to bring over the profit. Else if customer sort, and this is the key all of these, this if then is the key to making it dynamic because as the user changes the parameter control value, this field, this customer sort order is going to pull over a different field, which we're going to then use to sort on. I'm going to show you what happens. So we're going to bring this over to rows. We need to change this to discrete, and then we're going to change it to a dimension because we don't want it to be acting as a measure. Oops, got to change it back to discrete. Now, a customer is going to, you have to sort, or Tableau sorts on the first column or first field in the row shelf. So right now it's filtering on customer name. And we need to bring over customer sort order over to the left. But before we do, look what's happened. You see all these numbers here? So now each of those customers has been broken out because each customer, by adding this customer sort order, we've added another level of um, detail. And that's not what we want. So we only want one value for each customer. So in order to do that, we'll come back up to edit. We need to change this instead of just sales, we need to use the fixed function. If you haven't used the fixed function, it's pretty powerful. We want to fix it at the customer name level. And we want all, we want the sum of the sales. We want all the sales. And so this is basically saying total up all the sales for that particular customer. And same here, we're going to total up all the profit for this particular customer. And total up all the quantity, regardless of the other dimensions that are on there. And so this can be very powerful, it can also be a little confusing, and you can get yourself tied around in a knot pretty quickly. So now we have one value for each customer, which is what we wanted. Sort, we're going to change it, to, oops, change it to descending, good. Now as we change, as we change to profit, the most profitable one will be up. We change to sales, and now well, all we need to do, 
right click on this left click sorry and where is it show header and there you go now you've got a clean looking chart where you can dynamically sort